Okay, so it is a fantastic day out. So when it is a fantastic day out, we must go geocaching. So that's exactly what we're going to go do today. Uh, I'm at a park that I was at before, and I already had smileys all over this park, but I recently just looked at it again. Um, I can't remember why I decided to look at it again, because it's not even that close to my home. And I have no smileys here, none. All the geocaches look like they've been replaced with other geocaches, so I'm okay with that. So now I'm back here again, gonna go grab some new smileys and check out what geocaches um, have made their home here now uh, to replace the other ones. So let's go. All right, I think I found it. I originally was trying to walk through all this and there's a lot of thorns on the other side. And I just was like, oh wait, I remember, because I've been here before, that uh, there's a little path I just have to go further down and then I can come back uh, into this wide open area. But I think I found the cache. Uh, it looks like a big one. Let's go get it. What an awesome cash container. Look how big this thing is. Okay. Look at the size of this cash container. This is awesome. I love big cash containers like this. So let's open it up. Let's see what's inside. Woo! Okay, so it is loaded with stuff. Uh, it's got, what is this? Oh, a little note in here that explains, I'm assuming, yeah, what geocaching is so people don't take it. That's awesome. Sweet, so this one is a, uh, a letterbox. So, I brought my stamp so I can stamp it and see what stamp they have inside. What else is in here? Oh, we got the ink pad. Their little stamp, which is a dog. How cute is that? And I got my dog, but he's, he's, he's doing his thing. He's just wandering. We've got pencil in there. We got, um, I have no idea. Is there a sock in here? pair of socks. I mean, sure, why not, right? I mean, it's kind of mucky out today. I guess if your socks get wet, you have a clean, dry pair right here in a geocaching bag. And there's a bunch of little army men. Let me seal that back up so the uh, socks stay dry. Looks like there's a travel bug in here. I can't really see the code. I want to discover it. Oh, it's one of those uh, deadliest ducks. Cool. Uh, I'll have to discover that some cute pictures of a dog in here and uh, I mean I like dogs I got a dog okay I see somebody didn't have a stamp so they just drew a picture that works too right uh, lots of stamps not a whole not a whole lot of stamps in here so what is everybody's thoughts that are watching this if you are at a letterbox should you only claim it if you actually stamp it like it asks or is it okay just to um, you know, claim it either way. You know, you found it, that's what geocaching is, or should you play along and only claim it if you're able to stamp it? So let me know below. Let me, ah, let me know below uh, what your thoughts are on it. I mean, I don't, I'm not, I'm not going to judge. I'm just curious what most people think. So I'm going to go ahead and stamp it. But there's my stamp. You guys have probably seen it before in a previous video, but I have this unicorn stamp. There we go, made official, put my little name in there with my stamp. I feel like when someone leaves a big cash container like this, it's only right that if I have a travel bug, to put a travel bug in there. Because uh, if you're gonna take the time to make a big cash container, I wanna take the time to help a travel bug move along. Uh, because obviously you can't really move a travel bug when someone's just putting out a bunch of bison tubes and nanos. Not hating on those, but still wanna you know, take the effort that if I have one, I will place it in a big cash container. Hard day of geocaching, huh, buddy? It's exhausting, huh? All right, I'm gonna go ahead and log this cache. Get to keep the dog walking. There's actually a dog park here that I act, that I just found out is free. It used to not be free last time I was here geocaching. So uh, I may see how he does. I've never actually taken him into a dog park. Do you want to go in the dog park? Do you want to play with the other doggies? Are you gonna be a good boy? Hey. Ignore that train. Do you want to go into the dog park? 
Yeah, maybe we'll go into the dog park. All right, so I've reached a little bit of a dilemma and I don't know what I should do, mainly because I have the dog. Um, all right, so I'm still uh, several feet away from this cache and I don't, I don't know what to do. Okay, so I'm next to like this kind of, it's like a gross pond, but uh, just sad. It's just filled with like a lot of uh, seaweed and stuff. But it looks like I have to cross and I got this guy. So this could be really funny or it could be, <laughs> could be really sad. Uh, depending on how this goes. So I think I need to go over there, which it looks like a really neat area. I've never, I didn't even know this was back here. Last time I was geocaching out here, nobody geo or hid one out this way. So this is cool. Definitely introducing me to new, some new areas, even in a place I already was at. Uh, another little hidden gem. I'm trying to, I'm trying to determine. I'm thinking if I should just walk around, but I don't, it looks like there's fences and stuff. I think I have to go across. All right, um, well, wish us luck. I got the dog. <laughs> Is that gonna help? I don't know. Cross totally surprised me. Uh, again, not sure how we're gonna get back though. But we'll take it a step at a time. Uh, let's see if I even went the right way now. I this this could have been stupid, but we're gonna find out. All right, so not going to get that last geocache. Uh, I started when I was going out there. Turns out I did not have to make that jump or anything like that. As I was out there, uh, somebody from the city or I don't know what they are, anyway, somebody that works here at the park uh, told me I was in private property. <laughs> so as I, like when he said that, I'm like, oh my god, I'm so sorry. So I, I immediately say, I'll, I'll get out of there. And I look at the geocaching app and I realize where he is telling me this from across the water. That's where the geocache is. So he's standing right there next to it. And I'm on the wrong side. So anyway, I come cr across, the dog falls into that muck. And I decided not to get that geocache because after the one guy, there ended up being multiple guys. They're like planting trees or something. So I'll just have to come out here another time to get the geocache. And as for Percy, Percy did not get to go to the dog park, did you? So I'm gonna go ahead and end today's video. I kind of cut that last part short. Went and took Percy to get some ice cream. Is that good, buddy? He didn't get to go to the dog park because there was a big German Shepherd in there and the owner took the German Shepherd in like super, super excited and I'm watching a lot of Caesar Milan lately. And uh, I know that you don't do that. And as soon as they took that German Shepherd in, it started fighting with a bunch of other dogs. So, uh, and then Percy started barking. So I just didn't, I didn't want to take him in. Didn't want to risk, you know, him trying to get up in a fight or something. So anyway, I will be back for that cash where they're planting that tree because I want to get that cash. So anyway, guys, that is it. Thank you so much for coming along with me today. Uh, I do have other geocaching videos if you want to check out my channel. If you want to go ahead and hit subscribe so you know when I release another video, go ahead and do that. And there's a little bell notification too. You can do that too so you are alerted, I guess, when I do release another video. And as always, I do appreciate the thumbs up and the comments below. I do read those and I do try to respond to as many as possible. So yeah, go ahead and leave me a comment if you want. But uh, that, that's it for today. I'm going to go uh, walk the dog a little bit more, and then um, we're just going to go home. So until next time, we will see you later. Bye!